The clip you just saw features a female officer named Officer Shutterly, who was caught kissing a suspect instead of arresting him. On January 1, 2021, Officer Shutterly received a call to respond to a car crash in Gainesville, Florida. Do what we gotta do so I can go, man. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Trying to get it in. Okay. Um, and you are silver car? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, if you want to go back over there, I'll come get your info in just a second. All right. Thank you. The first thing the officer tells Mr. Gardner is to go back to his car. Meanwhile, Officer Shutterly and Mr. Barrick clearly seem to know each other from somewhere, and they start chatting together. So, uh... Yeah, reached out for my lighter, slammed into his ass. Cool. No, not really. Not really. Yeah. He didn't want to do an information exchange? No, he does. I just, no, now I found it. Okay. Well, that sucks. Please, Neil's off. You can come give you a ride. Do you want me to let him know you found the insurance? The and... same fucking thing. Well, maybe you should not do that then. So, uh, you want me to let him know you found your insurance, see if he wants to do an information exchange? Christ. That's fine. Okay. So, he mentioned you guys had talked about exchanging information, but he hadn't had his insurance pulled up. Yeah. Um, we have a couple options with this. It's really cut and dry. At this point, the officer seems to be doing her job right, but this is about to change. So, a couple things. One, do you mind giving me, like, a couple feet? One, because I like personal space, and two, because cigarette smoke, it's really, it tears me up a little bit. Give me just, like I said, it'll probably take me about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll get that done for you, okay? Sorry, right, Birdie, he wants the record. You got your driver's license? Absolutely. I'm guessing the car's registered to you? Yep. Cool. The officer tells Mr. Gardner to move away because she does not like his cigarette smell, which is rude to tell someone, especially if you are a police officer. Mr. Gardner agrees and moves away. However, when the officer goes back to Scott Barrick's car, who is smoking a cigarette, she does not complain, which clearly shows a conflict of interest. Thank you, thank you. You know I don't need that. Should hypothetically auto populate. Give me a second because I'm going to call Priester and see if he needs me to do anything special since it's one of us. Yep. So. Yep. Hey. hey, this crash, um, Birdie, is so come work it. Okay. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've worked a crash with one of us in it. So. No, he's not on duty. He's in his POV. Are they still in it or no? Yeah, he's still in it. Is he really? So, Birdie, you, you giving me some indicators? Oh. Listen, listen. Shit, woman. Listen. <laughs> Valdez is coming out just to... I, I'm not going to lie to you about it. She's on her way? Yeah, she's on her way. Because I'm not... I'm not really comfortable with this whole thing at all. But I'm not going to lie to you about it. Oh, no. I, Cause, I, I don't mean to put you in that indicator. Yep. Yeah. So, from now on, you know how it goes. You can't consume anything, okay? Because right now you, you're being detained. Wait, what? I'm holding on to you because I have a supervisor coming to see if I need to do a full-fledged DUI investigation or not. Catch him on. Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm going to remain on for... Because I... Integrity. Officer Shutterly tells Scott Barrick that he is displaying signs of being intoxicated, 
which leads her to detain Barrick while they wait for her supervisor. Mr. Barrick asks the officer if her body camera is on. After both of them waited for some minutes, Officer Shutterly's supervisor finally showed up. Now, you might think that the supervisor would do her job, but she does the complete opposite. Okay. I think they're with him. Okay. Shitty spot. Pretty sure that's the people I ran into. The maybe still be sitting in their car. Right, she wants to do DUI. Do it. I'm not gonna put you in that spot. I can put her in that spot. She made me aware of who it was. Go ahead. So. Well aware. Okay. Fair enough. If we have any spare units, I will I can never up here web. I think it's, uh, put anyone in that spot. Three people from his crew that are. She's like, absolutely uh, 100% right with. in what she's doing. Identification. Are they still sitting in their car? Somebody's in the driver's seat. Yeah. Little silver uh, car? Uh, yep. And are they there because she told them? You just saw me walk up, so no, I, 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 I really I, don't know. I don't know. I, I could if go ask, them, but... If she told them that I'm law enforcement, that's 100%. Maybe they're getting a ride. I don't know. Bravo 23 units, 1014. He's down for a lighter. God damn. Because he was still in the car. So he's free to go? Yeah, he's good. Okay. Is he just hanging out to hang yeah, out? Yeah, because his car's all jacked up on the back. Oh, so we have him with tow, or what is he doing exactly? Yes. Um, I think his sister is coming to pick him up. Which is the car that rolled up? I think so, because she was here earlier, took his brother, and then now I guess is taking him. Tired and pissed. Do what you gotta do. Alright. Well, we're gonna go to the back of Sarge's car. Okay. Because that's where my clipboard is. Okay. That's where the most level ground is, and there's okay. a line. Fair enough. I'm going to check on these because they're bothering me. Okay. That makes sense. I'm just... Hey, are you just hanging out? No. Or picking them up? Or? I don't want... The passenger is not worth it. In this car? Mm-hmm. Okay. In that car. I'm just trying to wait and see what's going on. What's going on, what's yeah. going on with the driver? Okay, so you're seeing what's going on with the driver, and then he's going to do, do we, what are you doing with the car? Then? That's what we're trying to wait on to see what he's going to do. Okay. So we don't know. Okay. Now, it is clear that the supervisor is corrupt. She decided to check the victim instead of the suspect, which clearly shows that there is something wrong with the police system. She decides to harass innocent people because she is trying to protect her friend. I'm going to check your eyes. Please remove glasses if you wear them. Keep your head still and follow the stimulus. Do not move your head. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, I do. All right. We're going to do the walk and turn now. So, if you could, I'm going to have you stand on that white line. Face me. All right. You're going to put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot in front of it 
with your right heel touching your left toe, keeping your hands at your side like so. Leaning. Hmm? Just leaning. Okay. I'm trying to find the most <laughs> flat spot. I'm trying. All right. But I mean, it's leaning. But Here, I'm let's trying. let's do it this way. I'm good. Go ahead and stand here. We'll do it this way. So you're going to stand like this until I advise you to do otherwise. Do not start until I tell you to. Do you understand the direction? You may begin the test. So at this time, I'm asking you to come with me to the station to provide a breath sample. After doing his sobriety exercise, we clearly see that Mr. Barrick is drunk and the officer decided to arrest him. 10-8 BTOs unless Guyton is able to break. I, I really would rather not take him up to DOJ and do it in their BTO room. I'm a BTO. Huh? I'm a BTO. Are you? Yeah. That makes my life infinitely easier. Everything came to light when Corporal Scott Barrick hugged and kissed Officer Shutterly. It's not entirely clear whether they were in a romantic relationship or if it was a mistake, but what we can see from the video is evidence that Officer Shutterly and Corporal Scott Barrick kissed. The surprising part is that their supervisor stood there and watched. <laughs> No, I'm fine. I'm sorry. No, you're not these people. It's fine. You're okay. But you can, we already know what the game plan is. Your keys are in the bag. I can lock the keys. Don't let them off, Brady.
with you in the front. It's got the hinge locks. Okay. Good to go? Yeah. When they went to the police station, the supervisor conducted a breathalyzer test on Corporal Scott Barrett, and it showed a high blood alcohol content. As a result, Corporal Scott was arrested and charged with DUI, and he had to pay a $2,000 fine. When the news of this incident went viral, all three officers were fired. <laughs> 